trouble maker, trouble maker. Mm. Hey, 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 Troublemaker here with another boss tutorial for Dark Souls 2. This one is for the Bell Tower Gargoyles. Now, the only reason you would really want to do these, unless you're going for an all boss playthrough, is to light up the room for the Lost Sinner. So, in that case, you want to go do these guys. Now, the strategy here is to start out using your strongest attacks first and really focus on one at a time. I'm not 100% sure, I'm 95% sure that these guys are on a timer, or on a, rather, a health meter timer. So when the health meter comes down below a certain point, then another one comes out. So if that's the case, you know, I've, I've been sworn by these guys before where I was hitting one and, you know, there was not another one close to me, and so I hit the one that was close to me, and all before I know it, I have four gargoyles. I'm surrounded by four gargoyles, and it's really difficult to fight them that way. So focus on one at a time. Use your heaviest sorceries first, the ones that do the most damage per second, and then fall back. You can go weaker and weaker because the longer you fight these guys, you know, the more you, you get their numbers down, the easier it's gonna be. And by the time you just have two left, you know, you can use just regular soul spirits, no thing. Now, as I said before, the only reason you would even want to do this fight is if you wanted to light up the rooms of Lost Center. And as a sorcerer, you really do, because if you're a ranged fighter, in the dark, your lock length, the distance in which you're able to actually hold a lock is, I don't know what exactly, but I think it's halved. So you have to stay really close to her in order to keep that lock, and she does these things where she jumps all over the room, and if she jumps way back, you've lost the lock, and then if you're trying to attack her, you can't focus. You know, you don't have time to use your binoculars. So you really want that room lit up, unless you plan on doing close range combat. And then why do you even bother being a sorcerer? <laughs> so, we're going to be doing the, not the Lost Center next, which will be next in the series. And these guys are almost done. And you fight these guys, you get the key. Now the key to, that you need is actually below. So once you pass these guys, you're going to go through the door and there's a bonfire. The key is actually below the bonfire. There will be a ladder to climb down and you're going to get a red NPC invader that's going to spawn. It's a it is an invader, but it is an NPC. It's part of the game mechanic, so even if you're offline, you'll get it. But there's a key down there on a body sitting up against the wall, so you need that key to open up all the stuff in the Lost Bastille. Gargoyles are dead! Praise the sunset! Good work, Voldemort.